trainer in the history of the Breeders' Crown with 12 wins. He's the Hamiltonian leading money-winning trainer with over $2.7 million. And last year, he turned the Hamiltonian and the Beacon Course into his own personal property. I am speaking, of course, of Chuck Sylvester, a 1998 Hall of Fame inductee. Chuck, great having you with us. Thanks, Bob. The Breeders' Crown's been around since 1984. How does that change a trainer when it comes to aiming for the big races? It just makes you race your horse a little lighter during the year. You can't put 14, 15 starts in them before the Breeders' Crown. So you try to save your horse and keep him sharp for that race. The Hamiltonian format changed in 1997, your Malabar man. Before they had the eliminations and final the same day, 1997, it was a week apart. Uh, you won with both. Uh, what's your opinion? Do you have a favorite? Well, I think it's, it, it's a little harder to win uh, two races in one day, but it's exciting. And I think maybe it took a little bit of excitement away from the race. Uh, to me, I would rather have both races in one day. When you changed Mac LaBelle's shoes back in 1987, if it was a week apart, it wouldn't have been an issue, but it took a little nerve then. Yeah, it did, but you know, the horse uh, didn't finish up the way he wanted him to, so we made a change and made a decision to do it right then. How about the Hamiltonian with Pine Chip? He didn't win in 1993, but he did become the three-year-old trotter of the year and back-to-back -back seasons and the fastest trotter of all time, 151. Could he have gone a touch faster than that? I think he could have at Lexton. Uh, we were re raced him easy and conservatively. Uh, he could have beat 151, I think, at Lexton that fall as a three-year-old. I know you're not afraid of hard work. You said the harder I work, the luckier I get, but you also do not shy away from the three-year-old trotting fillies. Had a lot of great ones there. Yeah, we sure. We've been really lucky with the trotting fillies. And towards the end of the year, if, uh, if the boys get a little weak, we'll put them against the boys, too. In the Breeders' Crown this year, the couple of trotting mares, Lookout Victory and Fern, are going up against the boys. It certainly didn't bother CRK Susie, a moneymaker. What about that in that field, Lookout Victory and Fern? What are the chances? Well, I think they fit very well. I think Fern has a great chance of winning the race myself. What about Mr. Goals coming off a layoff? John Campbell's chosen him and a qualifier. How tough is it to get a trotter ready without racing? Well, an aged horse will get ready quick. I'm not sure why he had the layoff, but he'll respond quick. Over on the uh, pacing mare side, Galleria, no three-year-old fillies come back to win the crown as a four-year-old. Why is that? It's just hard for four-year-olds to bounce back after a grueling three-year-old year. And sometimes it takes them a whole season before they'll get back. You know, a lot of people think of Chuck Sylvester, you immediately think about trotters, but you're not just a trotting trainer. You've been three times first and second in Sweetheart. You won the Meadowlands Pace with laughs. Uh, is that assessment correct about a trotting trainer? Yes. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I've been known to have trotters, so now I train 99% uh, trotters. As uh, someone said, the Muscles Yankee, Mac, Lobel, and Pine Chip were the three greatest male trotters of all time. Would that person be correct? I would agree with it, but I'm sure a lot of other people wouldn't. Describe the feeling of winning your first Hamiltonian and then last year with Muscles Yankee. Well, each Hamiltonian, I mean, is a great thrill. There was a lot of pressure with Mac Lobel because he was an overwhelming favorite. After I got through that one, it made it a little easier with the rest of them. You are cutting back your schedule a little bit. Tell us about that. Well, I'm 59 years old, and it's time to cut back a little. And you, right now you have how many horses as compared to, say, 10 years ago? Uh, I have 25 right now, and, you know, and I trained 40 this winter. 25 during the winter is more like what I want. Thanks to Chuck Sylvester. Even though he's not in this year's Hamiltonian, continued good luck. Thank you. Well, while Chuck Sylvester may not have a horse in this year's Hamiltonian, it's likely he'll be listening in on our press conference and post-position draw for the big race.